All right, so today we're at one of our very favorite remodels that we did, and we're gonna show you how to style your kitchen and make it look awesome and functional at the same time. This is Christine, and she's a stylist at Studio McGee, and she has a lot of experience making kitchens look beautiful and function well and put the finishing pieces together, and she's gonna help me today share a few tips on how to style the kitchen. First, you'll wanna start with a clean slate. If you can put it away, do it. All right, we're gonna start with the counters, and we like to create groupings so that it doesn't feel like just clutter everywhere. Um, we love to use canisters and jars to store oatmeal, flour, sugar, and even snacks. We love to add cutting boards to the backsplash or behind the stove. It just adds a natural element and some warmth to the kitchen. That, or I think I like just two. We like to keep everything uniform and we typically stick to wood and stainless steel. When styling a kitchen, you really need to think about how you use it and especially around the stove. So next to the crock, we always keep a couple of extra things, whether that's oil and vinegar, salt and pepper, or even a little recipe. We always put a little potted plant or topiary, whether they're herbs or fresh flowers by the sink. Beth just asked me why we do that and the answer is I don't know why, but it just feels right. Uh, it always just looks good and fresh by the sink. Do you need soap by your kitchen sink? It might as well look good. We always search for pretty containers and we also love this strawberry dish that we put our scrubbers in and it keeps everything contained and cleaned up. And then a nice paper towel holder. They're like, you might as well look, make that look good too. And um, finishing touch is always a dish towel draped over the sink or your stove. Not every kitchen has an island, but if you're lucky enough to have one, you need to create a focal point. And we usually do this by doing a big jar for fresh flowers and a bowl, either white or wood, and we'll put fresh produce in the bowl. And we make it a point to always pick a base and bowl that look good when they're filled with things and when they're empty. You can see we do not get it right on the first time. We test and try and um, swap things out and it just takes playing with things a little bit till you see that it feels right. What about open shelves and glass cabinets? People always get stressed out by them. Um, we, the first thing that we do is that we always lay everything out and on the bottom shelf we always put the things that you are actually really using on a daily basis. Bowls, cups, stacked plates. One thing that's kind of fun for open shelves is to layer a print. No, it's not something that you're going to use, but it always looks great to layer with you know, bowls or glasses in front of it. There we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> then we want to do a cake stand. Yeah. Right, so um, we like to like. we like to put the things that are pretty but we're not using every day on the very top shelf. So usually that will be um, a cake stand or some sort of like serving piece like this. It seems like kitchen countertops always collect 
a lot of paper and mail, so we always put a basket somewhere on the countertops to corral all of that stuff. We love putting a rug by the kitchen sink. We use vintage rugs a lot, but we also really like indoor-outdoor rugs because if you spill something on them, you can take them outside and hose them off. Hey, it looks so good. It looks so yes, good. we did it. Okay, so let's clear off this. We got our fresh flowers in. That is my favorite part of styling a kitchen, and it looks great. It functions well, and it's picked up but still lived in and hopefully this will help you when you're trying to style a kitchen.